Hi guys, so I'm here with my mentor. Wait, first of all, my name is Lobo Shekumalo and my name is Kate Jolly. And we are mentor and mentee. Um, yeah, we be <laughs> we were paired through Alan Gray. Um, but yeah, this this is for my submission, just saying. And yeah, so we'll be talking about the like we'll be giving you guys advice on how we think a mentor mentee relationship can work best, things you need to look out for. Okay, so we'll be doing four um, big buckets. The first one is like the mentee role. Next one is mutual benefits. Third is mutual understanding and respect. And then lastly, we'll, we'll talk about how you should view your relationship as a task. Right. So I'll start off this one. As a mentee, like a very passive role your mentor comes and just gives you all their knowledge and it's just like a feeding mechanism where you're just receiving 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 and there's nothing going back upwards um, however like being having had a lot of other mentors I know that it's like a, it's a it's a two-way street and as a mentee you also have responsibility it's very important that your objectives are clear because you don't want to get to your meeting with your mentor and you just sit there and you stare at each other because don't know what you want so they don't know how to help you and yeah just make sure that you don't make the whole relationship the mentor's job um, usually they are older but it doesn't mean that they're like the, the bosses of the relationship and also remember your mentors are usually working so they usually do have a lot on their hands they don't have time to be planning that okay who no good they needs to get into a relationship or no good has to break up with their boyfriend okay so on my end um no good is about um, Objectives must be clear, and I really um, agree with that on that on that point. Um, the basis of any relationship, um, in my mind, is there has to be sort of some mutual benefit. Otherwise, what's the point? I'm not going to get into a relationship with anyone that just wants to uh, take 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 all the time. Um, not really bring anything to the table. So that really speaks to you know our objectives for a relationship have to be aligned. Once you have established what your objectives are with the relationship and see where the, the, the dots connect, um, I think that's a really great uh, place to start to then start establishing, okay, now that we know what we want to get out of this, how we're going to do it, and then you start planning um, from that standpoint. There has to be a mutual beneficiation in the whole relationship. And I think it also just starts with the compatibility. Um, and I know with this whole thing, we're not really, you don't know, us as mentors don't really have a choice. Um, <laughs> we don't have a choice of who I get chose her. <laughs> um, you know, so that you can choose somebody that is sort of aligned to you and your personality and what you're looking for, etc. But I think the compatibility is very important, and that's obviously something that happens behind the scenes. Um, but that is very important. Otherwise, you just have people that have completely different objectives for the relationship. And it's just, I mean, it's just starting off on a bad note. Um, it's, it's a recipe for disaster. With me choosing Kate, um, I was like, I need someone who's similar to me, but not a clone. Because you don't want to be with someone who's just like you. Because now there's no point. Now you guys are just, you know, you, you, you keep backing each other up like, yes, you should go for that. And, you know, not, you need a, an objective, you need someone who's going to oppose you at some times. Um, so I, I looked at my weaknesses a bit and I was like, oh, I'm struggling with this. And I think Kate has a strength in this, so I think she'd be the best person to help me. So for example, with my career choice, um, I'm hopefully going into the job market next year and I've been trying to find like a place that I can fit in and work at um, and like I'm also struggling because I'm like I've done accounting the CA stream but I'm not sure if I really want to be an accountant you know so knowing that Kate had a similar background however she deviated from the CA stream so I, I want to hear how she dealt with the with changing such a, a big thing because you go to university and you study you're like yeah I'm gonna be a CA and all these opportunities open up and suddenly <laughs> suddenly you're like Yo, do I even want to do anything with accounting yeah. um, so the third um, pillar of having a healthy relationship with your mentor is having mutual understanding and respect 
So I think that's actually like probably the most important one because even if you don't get along with your mentor or mentee, you still need to respect them. Um, people are giving up their time, um, of their energy, of their resources, so the least you could do is be respectful. Yeah, and I think that kind of works both ways. Um, so while she has a responsibility to come to meetings with the objective of the meeting, she must set the objective of the meeting, what she wants to talk about, um, and what assistance um, she requires from me. I also have the responsibility to respect her time. So if she has prepared, I also have to come prepared to give value um, and to contribute to me to, to the conversation. Um, I have to respect her time as well. She's a student, um, an honest student for that. So she also doesn't have time. Um, her work, um, her job is to be a student, and my job is to do my job. So we both have jobs. Yeah, so basically. <laughs> And so, if we set a meeting and I don't give her enough notice, that's also a failure on my part. So I think the, the mutual respect is mutual. Yeah. And like, just an example, like for us, we, we really know how to accommodate each other. Yeah. So we were meant to meet like way back then because they set such a short deadline. Um, but Kate had work, so we couldn't do it during the week. And then I had a, another commitment on the weekend, so we had to settle for a Sunday. So that's just like, it's already like an example of how we, we compromise and we meet each other halfway. And I really think that's important. And then the last one is that you mustn't view your relationship as a task. It should be more of a something you want to go to, something you're excited about. So having, like being on the foundation, we have to have a mentor, it's prescribed. No, you don't really have a choice. Like, with that, you need to also like change your mindset and like actually want to have a mentor. And I think it's important, like mentors come in many different shapes and sizes and, 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 and like roles. Even your friends could be your mentors. Um, so like just, just view that as, as a privilege because not everyone has a mentor. Um, this is someone who has possibly gone through the same path as you, who's trying to make the way easier for you. And I mean, we all love shortcuts, as long as they're legal and ethical. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely, I'm excited for my journey with Kate. Um, I can already see that we have chemistry, so I'm, I'm really excited and I think it was a good match. And um, from the mental side of things, um, I want to say that, you know, don't go into it for wrong reasons. Don't go into it so that you can say, oh, I was a mentor for an Alan Gray or his foundation fellow. Um, and you just drag your feet from the whole relationship. You know, if you have to be there for the right reasons, then somebody on the other end that's looking to you for advice in whatever shape or form. And so, you know, it's not just a checklist for you either. Um, and if you're doing it for those reasons, then you are not. Because you are not doing anybody any favors, you're wasting your own time, um, and you're wasting the other person's time. Go find something else that you're passionate about rather, um, instead of, you know, viewing a mental relationship or something. This is going to look nice to see you There's a bragging for any point thing that you have with your friend or something silly like that. Um, so, yeah. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>